what's up guys Marco here welcome back to another lesson today I'm gonna to show you how we can combine three musical elements in one exercise now the reason why I want to show you these exercises is because I went back playing the electric guitar and I realized that I don't have the same fluidity and technique and speed and control that I had before now for you who don't know I used to play electric guitar a lot when I was in London between 2011 and 2017 but now that I go back to it I just realized that I don't have uh, the same technique you know my right hand is totally off and my left hand just really struggle to play all these scales and solos that i used to you know easily play before now this is pretty normal when you quit a music style for a while and you go back to it you kind of struggle a little bit at the beginning but you can easily get back in shape now i put together this exercise because i wanted to practice the alternate picking technique as well as scales and chords. Now I'm gonna show you how to play it so that you can improve your technique and get inspired. You can get the backing track and the tab, just check my Patreon page and support this channel. So thank you so much for all the people who support me on my Patreon page, guys. You are awesome. Now we have two different sections. The first one, which is gonna focus on the alternate um, picking and the scales. And the second one, which is gonna have alternate picking scales, but also chords. Now the first section is played over the A power chord. And we're only gonna play two notes, the B string for number 10 and the E string for number 12. Now this is an A power chord, which works great because we are playing over an A power chord. Now we're gonna play the phrase like this. So I'm using the alternate uh, picking technique and I'm gonna start with the B string twice and the E string one time. I'm going to repeat this pattern four times. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now it's really important that you always alternate, so you wanna have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we have the uh, scale. We only have four notes, the E string for number 10, and um, 9, B string 12, and 10. When we play the phrase again, we're gonna change things a little bit. So the second time we're gonna play the two notes, the power chord, uh, only twice. And so you have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then you have the B string fret number 10, twice. And then the E string for number 12, 10, 9, and the B string for number 12, and then we play the E string for number 10, 9, the B string for number 12, and 10. So the scale is slightly longer now with a different pattern. When you put the whole thing together slowly, 3 and 4 and... Now the second section uh, is going to also have the chords. And so we're gonna play like this. playing is an F sharp power chord followed by a D power chord, A power chord and E power chord. So the very first phrase is gonna have two notes, the D string fret number 11 and the B string fret number 10. And this is the fifth and the minor third of the C sharp minor chord. But we're only gonna play these two notes. Now the finger picking, sorry it's not the finger picking, it's the picking pattern. Um, is always the same, we're always going to alternate. So you have, and you wanna play the D string twice, and then the B string one time. And you do the same twice, and then one time just on the D string twice. 
So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then we're gonna have the A major scale. We're literally playing the scale starting from the uh, E string from number 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 9, 11, and 9. And then we change position. The second chord is the D power chord, and we're gonna play the phrase like this. So we have just the fifth and the major third of the uh, D major chord, same picking. So it's twice on the D, one time on the B string. We do it twice, and then just the D string. And then we play the A major scale. Uh, this time the scale is in a different position. It's on the B string fret number 10, 9, 7, and then the G string fret number 7, uh, sorry, 9, 7, 6, and then the D string fret number 9 and 7. So we're playing the A major scale. So, then the next chord is the A power chord, um, I'm gonna play like this. So we're gonna go up, and we're playing the chord like this, and just the uh, D string for number seven and the G string for number six, just the root note and the major third of the A major chord. Same picking. This time it's easier because we don't have this string skipping. Um, we just play the D string and then the G string. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then we have the um, scale, the A major scale on the D string for number seven, nine, and then six, seven, nine, seven, nine, and ten. The last chord, the E major, uh, we're gonna play it. So we have just the fifth and the major third of the E major chord, and we are playing the same thing. A D string and B string for number nine. And the scale this time is going to be played like this. So you have the B string for number 12, 10, and nine, and the G string for number 11. And then the pattern, same pattern starting from the B string for number uh, 10, nine, 11 on the G string and a 9 on the G string. So you want to play everything with the alternate picking, it's always there. string fret number 10 when it goes back to the A power chord. So that's it guys, this is how you can add these three elements uh, in just one exercise and I think it's a great thing because sometimes when you go back playing uh, a music style that you didn't play for a while, you really want to uh, get back in shape before you actually start playing. You don't really want to hurt your tendons uh, and hurt your muscles. So really, really important to do this exercise. Now, just a quick thing about the intro I was playing. Uh, at the really beginning, I was improvising over the uh, A power chord. And I was using the uh, A mixolydian scale, which is this one. A, B natural, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural, and the note A. So usually the you know the A major scale will have the G sharp, but the A mixolydian will have the flat seven. So we're gonna play the G natural. And you can easily uh, hear this minor seven when I played. So I'm playing. C sharp, A, and the G natural. To put it in a simple way, it's just like if I am playing a D major scale over the A power chord.
So use the backing track to play uh, the A mixolydian scale over this chord. Now, take it step by step. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.